All right, let's get started with uh, gluconeogenesis. Let's introduce what's going on with that. So gluconeogenesis, gluco refers to glucose, neo refers to new, and genesis refers to generate or to make. So basically gluconeogenesis is making new glucose. So specifically, it's making glucose from two pyruvates. So in a way, it's kind of undoing glycolysis. However, it is not the exact reversal of glycolysis. So why is that? Well, because there are three irreversible glycolytic steps, right? Like in glycolysis, there are three irreversible steps that need different enzymes to be reversed. So I know I note here that they're irreversible by that enzyme. That doesn't mean those processes are impossible to undo. It's just that they're, they don't get undone by the same enzyme that catalyzed the forward reaction. Okay, so we need different enzymes in order to reverse those steps. So how many steps are there in gluconeogenesis? Because in glycolysis, there were 10. Well, in gluconeogenesis, there's actually 11. And that's because the step catalyzed by pyruvate kinase, pyruvate kinase in glycolysis must be undone or reversed with two enzyme catalyzed steps. So all the glycolytic reactions are reversed with one step except this one, the one that's catalyzed by pyruvate kinase. So because this one is um, reversed in two separate steps, there's one more reaction, right? So hence the 11 total, okay? Um, so that means there's four different or new enzymes that undo uh, the irreversible glycoly glycolytic steps, right? These are four new enzymes or different enzymes in gluconeogenesis. Okay, now gluconeogenesis is an energy requiring pathway which is sort of the opposite of glycolysis, which um, created energy. Um, and in this process, we're uh, building glucose and it's anabolic and reductive, okay? Which again, is opposite of glycolysis. Um, the energy that uh, it, it, for, for gluconeogenesis is supplied by fatty acid oxidation, uh, also known as beta oxidation, okay? And um, this, is, this occurs during the fasted state. When you're fasting, your body taps on uh, fats for energy, right? Breaking down fatty acids. Okay. Now, as far as going through and building a glucose, there are six ATP equivalents that are used. Four in the form of ATP and two in the form of GTP. Um, so six ATP equival equivalents are required to make each glucose, right? This is a per glucose number. Okay. Now, the, um, the, re the reciprocal regulation right, with hormonally with like insulin and glucagon, uh, make sure that glycolysis and gluconeogenesis, which are opposing path pathways, do not occur at the same time in the same cell, okay? Um, there are cases in which you could have the two, po two pathways sort of occurring at the same time in separate tissues, right, different cells, um, but, but not, it would make no sense to have, to be breaking down and, and, and making glucose at the same time in the same cell, okay? Um, now, of course, we can, we were making glucose from two pyruvates, as we mentioned earlier, okay? Um, but where are those carbons coming from? Can they come from anywhere else uh, other than just pyruvate? Well, pyruvate can, can come from, from lactate, right, through the lactate dehydrogenase reaction. Also, glycerol, which is the backbone for fats, uh, can be used in gluconeogenesis. And also, amino acids can provide the carbon skeleton that is used in gluconeogenesis.